if you ever come by a river, look at some of the rocks. If you look closely enough and if you pay good attention, you will find rocks that are very smooth in shape. That's your best chance of finding a rock that looks like this. A rock that could look like this. Now it leaves a lot to and leaves a lot to think about. Why is it that when you go near a river or a river bed, the rocks there tend to be smoother or you have a higher likelihood of running into them? It's important to look at a lot of the processes that you see around rivers. For instance, the river itself. We come here, we look at the rocks. Some rocks are harder to erode than others, but when you are in a river, water is the main method of which erosion takes place in which you have abrasion, you have the rock being worn away. End result, you have rocks shaped like this, a bit rounded, smoother. And that has a lot to do with the water wearing away. And then you have to think about this too. You have this deposition here, this sand. The sand is a good abrasive material for wearing away rock. Ironically enough, it's made from rock. You have that combination of the water and the sand together making a very abrasive combination. And that you have very smooth rocks. Now it also depends on what minerals are in the rocks. You get a rock like nice, something like this. It's still quite jagged and you have to think about the composition of what's in nice. You have feldspar, you have quartz. It's a metamorphic rock. It's going to be harder for that rock to wear away. It'll erode like other rocks, but it's gonna take a little more power because of the mineral content that's in it. I hope you found this video informative and interesting and hopefully it spurs you to pay more attention to what's around you, be more investigative, do more research, be more in a mode to explore. Don't forget to leave a comment on this video, like and subscribe.